Hello, supply chainers. This is Irina bringing you a new Supply Chain Minute. Today, let's discuss the opportunities that could exist within the healthcare market for Uber, Lyft, Instacart, and other delivery services um, or ride services. So um, what we know is that a couple months ago, Costco tapped into their relationship with Instacart to um, add that last mile delivery of their prescription drugs from their pharmacies into the homes of consumers. We also know that Uber recently announced a new partnership with Nimble RX um, to focus on two marketplaces, Seattle and Dallas, to begin at-home delivery of prescription medications. So, and uh, until now, they've covered about 15,000 um, 15, deliveries already. This is a huge opportunity for these organizations to enter a fairly structured and rigid marketplace, which is healthcare, with their nimble solutions. And so this really begs the question of, is there a potential um, additional partnership that could happen for, say, courier services that are currently very costly and cumbersome in healthcare settings, and potentially also for the delivery of vaccines um, that logistics companies are getting much prepared for. We've seen UPS do a lot of um, changes in their supply chain to prepare for vaccine deliveries. But when we're really speaking about getting these vaccines and these solutions into um, local rural places that are hard to reach, um, is it better to have a large delivery um, such as UPS or is it better to have more nimble smaller deliveries? Um, we don't know. I don't know what the solution is. I think it's very interesting the current partnerships that are happening and I'm looking forward to your thoughts. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Bye everyone.